guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's good make sure you subscribe so you can become a welcome back person so if i lose light it's not my fault it's the sun's fault because the look balancing work youtube and modeling is just really fucking hard okay like it's just really hard <coughs> But no, for real, I have like maybe 30 minutes. So, uh, my modeling career and I don't even have a modeling career yet. You know what? I, oh my God, get it together. I want this, I want this channel to be about me. Oh my God. I want this channel to be about modeling and me pursuing it. And so I've been shooting these little clips here and there of like casting calls. So instead of making a few short videos of those moments, I decided to just combine them together and basically update you on my life for the past two months here in New York City. I want to start this video off with dealing with the not so great parts so far. These first few clips are from, it was like one, the first or the second casting call I had went to when I was already here um, in the beginning weeks when I first came. So yeah, here is this process dealing with Russians. So I did a casting call not too long ago. I found this online and I saw there was like an open casting for New York Fashion Week. Anybody could apply. You had to be, minimum height was 5'7". Reminder, I'm 5'5". Five five. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. I just went. You know, sometimes you just gotta fake it till you make it, you know? I put, I was 5'7". Two inches off, you know, just, it, it's not that bad. I wore my platform, like, sandals, and then, uh, in heels on 5'7", you know? You filled out an application, and then you just walked, and they also took headshots and everything of you. The guy who took my headshots, um, asked him afterwards, I was like, oh, I have a portfolio if you wanted to see it. And he was just like, no, it's okay. Honestly, you'll most likely be getting a call back. So I was like, oh, so bet. So I left. Basically, what I was told that these people do is they basically help designers who don't have a spot in New York Fashion Week, they help them get a spot. And so with that, they need like models and such. And that's what they were casting for. Fast forward to now, I just got a call back from this person, but I was at work, so I couldn't answer. And now after work, I tried to call him, but he didn't answer. So I guess we're now waiting for a call back. The next part of all of this, he said, was like an in-person, like an interview. I don't know what the interview is going to consist of, but that was like the next step in the process. I will keep you updated on what happens next. Update on this fashion show, New York Week fashion show casting call. So he ended up calling me back and we scheduled a meeting. He was like, can you meet on Saturday at 1.30? And he's like, yes. And I'm like, do I need to bring anything? He's like, no, just yourself. And I'm like, oh, okay, bet. I ended up going to the meeting. Yeah, there were other people there that I guess also got chosen to be in the show. He kind of goes over like, okay, we want you to be in the show. And then there's a possibility we will give you a contract with our agency and we will be your mother agent. And then that was it. And then he was like, okay, well, go back inside. We have a rehearsal. And so put on like your heels or whatever. And I'm just like, I don't know. I was a little annoyed because I was like, it, it seemed a little unorganized, I guess. Because I even asked if I should bring anything. And I feel like at that point, you should like let people know that like afterwards, you're going to be having a like a practice. And so me thinking that this is like a meeting, obviously, I don't think I'm going to be walking. So it's just like, I didn't bring heels. And so now I was there and yeah, like he was just like, where are your heels? And I'm like, well, I wasn't told to bring them. And he's just like, well, you're a model. Like you should always have your heels. And I don't know, like that whole interaction, I was just a little annoyed because I was just like, bro, what? Like I asked, like, do I need to bring anything? Thing. I feel like at that point you should disclose that it's like oh you also have like a rehearsal after I wasn't the only one who did, didn't like bring heels after the like rehearsal whatever it was I don't even know 
um basically he called my name and he was just like okay i'm gonna let you go now you can leave i will call you on monday i don't really know what that means but i guess we'll find out so we'll see we'll see what happens monday <laughs> So as you can see, I really to this day can't tell you what happened to that. I literally got ghosted by Russians. Like, honestly, it did really kind of bring me down because I'm like, oh, I'm about to be in like New York Fashion Week. Like, this is what I wanted to do. Like, I'm already doing it. And then to have like literally be ghosted kind of really sucked. It's more that like, I don't know why, like what happened. Cause I'm like, okay, am I too short now? Walk's not good anymore, like y'all aren't interested anymore. I just don't know really what happened. This next clip is a casting call I did for a brand called Slash by Tia. She had like an open casting call for her show she was doing. And I was like, okay, cool, bet. And I went. This is kind of what I thought about that. So I just spent time with casting for Slash by Tia. She's actually really cool. Um, Y'all should check her out on Instagram. She's like this designer. She's 22 years old, like literally the same age as me. Making it big, like a lot of big name people like Gigi and Jasmine have like worn her clothes. Uh, let me say that this was like one of the most diverse casting calls I've been to. And so like props to them, like different shapes, student sizes, so many different ethnicities and it was just really cool but then also with that it was like i'm in my attire of like you know black top dark jeans and i was like wearing sneakers i brought heels but it really didn't matter yeah we had people like drift out like outfits were on point honestly any casting call it can get really intimidating um, when you look around and you see all these beautiful people especially when they're like dripped out it's kind of crazy it can be discouraging at times but honestly you just got to remember you know it's hard i know because i'm literally going through it right now but like you just gotta remember like you that bitch it's all about confidence honestly so we'll see how it goes i don't really know it just like went so fast is why i don't know it's not like i don't think i did bad but I just don't know. <laughs> it was literally I waited in line. I filled out a piece of paper, and then it was like picture one of the front, stand in front, stand to the side, and then one pose picture, and then that was it. And they were like, "Okay, we'll see, we'll see." So yeah, I kind of ended it there because I ended up not even getting a call back. It is hard to stay positive. Don't get me wrong, I really do try. It is hard because you're looking at these beautiful women like there's so many beautiful ass women like all y'all are so damn fucking beautiful in the moment like you're one of all these girls around you and you start comparing yourself to that and it's just like well shit like am i even good enough like for this like you don't get called back to stuff but i went to a couple more casting calls um i don't think i really recorded anything else but yeah, like you don't get calls back and you're just like, well shit, like is this meant for me? Like some days I'm just really down on myself. I feel like in life, it's really easy to focus on those bad and negative things that happen to you. And it's so easy to compare ourselves to others. Like I didn't get this casting call, but I'm seeing the girls who did. So it's just like, should I be that way? But I also want to sit here and tell you that, like, get yourself out of it. I have to give myself some mom's pep talks. I mean, I have my friends and family and my boyfriend who support me 100%. But it's just like, it's you yourself also who has to get yourself out of that mindset. I guess for me, what helps is thinking of the positive things that have happened so far first of all watch how my mood changes when i talk about all the stuff i did that's good so what are the good things i've been doing these past two months well first of all first of all first and foremost i i made it here like i moved to new york city without a job at first that's already an accomplishment in itself i got a job that was a struggle i'm also very fortunate to have worked already with so many awesome photographers.
I've been networking on Instagram. People have been reaching out to me. I was on Extra TV. This hot, hot summer, these trends are pure fire. We've seen Rihanna and Gigi Hadid in a look just like this. From all white to neon, here are the celebrity styles atop top extras we work offices in New York. Neon has been a huge standout trend this summer. Kendall Jenner and Victoria Beckham loving a little neon. This look is from American Eagle, and it is that bold, confident hue of pink. A bright jacket, jeans, and fun heels make the perfect casual chic look. What? <laughs> Within two months, I'm already on TV. <laughs> what? A shout out to my boyfriend, honestly, for the job because it was actually within the company he works. They needed a model really quick, and he was like, yo, my girl, a model, what's up? Here's her information. And I was like, yo, what's up? And yeah, I am at the point where I have so many photographers reaching out to me to do collabs and stuff where I can now I have a rate a bitch got a rate don't get me wrong I love creating with people I want to work with as many people as possible it's not that I want to charge people but I mean at, at this point where I'm at I'm like supply and demand you know there's only one of me a lot of you who are trying to work with me and so it's just like you know at that point I have to prioritize who am I gonna work with and you know a girl gotta pay some bills but don't get me wrong I'll always try to work with as many people as possible like I've had paid photo shoots now that's that's amazing I've, I've never done that and I'm doing it now another thing I had a brand reach out to me and send me clothes I've been here two months I'm just like imagine a year I'm at 3,000 followers on Instagram and like that's that's a drop in the bucket I've got there pretty fast so just again imagine in a year where will I be at 50k 100k what up I'm at model agencies reaching out to me I just kind of wanted to make this video to one of course show you where I'm at for these two months and to also show you that obviously there's gonna be bad and good and you gotta go through those emotions but at the end of the day think of the positive that what's happening you know in your life think about all the good that's coming to you and honestly the more you think about that the more good will come to you if you keep thinking about the negative stuff like it's just a cycle it's just gonna keep repeating because that's what you're attracting to yourself you need to try to keep thinking of the good things that are happening and good things will keep coming to you those opportunities they're gonna come to you I promise you so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that little update of my two months here in New York next video will be me taking you on basically kind of a day in my life of when I have like a photo shoot and also we're celebrating a hundred subscribers again a drop in the bucket but it's my drop shit it's our little drop, a hundred of us. It's actually wild to me that like a hundred people want to see my videos. A hundred subscribers, I'm honestly thankful for each and every one of you. My OG 100, no matter how big I get, how big or little I get, y'all my OGs at this point. Like I'm honestly gonna even look at the list and I'm gonna be like, you know what? When I, when I do blow up, I'm gonna put it in the air. When I do blow up, I'm gonna be like, yo, these are the original OGs and we just gonna celebrate, we gonna do something. You know, y'all all y'all already all invited to my one million subscriber party. Only y'all. That's it. Nobody else. I shouldn't say that. Nobody's gonna sit it's just gonna be us forever. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. And you know what? I didn't lose light. What's up? We beat the sun. This is gonna be harder in the winter. Mm-mm. <laughs>